Gold Premier Club this year is cheaper than ever. In this video, we're going to cover if Premier Club is worth it in 2020. So when you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Now you may be wondering why you're making a video about Premier Club. Well, last year I made a video about Premier Club and if it's worth it or not. However, this year there is a big difference. The Gold Premier Club package is about 18.7% cheaper. And what that does is it changes the worth of the bronze and silver packages. Well, in fact, it just lowers how much bang you're getting for your buck. Because the bronze and silver Premier Club packages, as of right now, are still the same price as they were last year. Just have a look at this little overview on screen. In the overview, you can see Premier Club 2019 and 2020 and regular recurring membership for 1, 3 and 12 months. The reason I'm showing you this overview is because you never ever want to pay for membership on a month by month basis. The reason for this is quite simple. Every month you're going to be spending more money than if you were to buy beforehand. Now I know it's not an option for everyone and you only really want to buy these packages if you plan to play for free six or 12 months. If you're looking to get into membership, you're better off just buying a month of membership or getting a bond. That is if you're a free to play player watching this video. Now, if you're watching this video and you were planning to buy silver Premier Club, please don't buy silver. If you're going to go for silver, you might as well spend a little bit more money and get double the membership time with the gold package because it's just so much cheaper per month than the silver package. On top of that, if you were going to get the gold, there's absolutely no reason to not do it now because it's about 27% cheaper than buying a year's worth of membership regularly. Now I'll be going into the rewards of Premier Club membership in general in just a second, but what does gold give you over silver and bronze? Well, instead of one Premier Club reward token with silver, you get three, you get 150,000 loyalty points straight up to buy auras with, you get 50% off of room metrics if you were planning to buy it, you get Ozzy the Osprey pet, which you don't get with silver or bronze, you get VIP Premier World access, including the badge, which you can use on your name. Every week you get a free boss instance, in addition to that, yes, it keeps going. You have 100 extra bank spaces and you have a extra monthly reward, which include proteins, small little packs and possibly chests. So I think the overall difference between these packs is clear now. You know the difference in price and rewards. But what are some of these rewards, like the Premier Artifact? Well, don't worry, I got you covered. First up, we have the Premier Artifact, which is a physical item you will receive in your bank after getting the Premier Club package. This Premier Artifact has four different buffs, which can be activated every single day. Yes, you can activate one, then the other, then another, all in a single day. You can use the Premier Artifact in combination with Auras now, which wasn't a thing you were able to do last year. Meaning you can use the Sign of the Porter Chance and the Greater Call of the Sea Aura when fishing, for example. Ozzy the Osprey is a pet you get with the Gold Premier Club package, which also has its own emote, much like the T-Rex pet you got last year. Premier Club reward tokens are items you receive with the silver and gold package that can be used to unlock cosmetic items that were previously available as a part of Premier Club or other exclusive limited time cosmetic rewards which you can now get using those Premier Club reward tokens. There's actually a wiki link showing most if not all of the things you can get. And this is kind of cool, you can also get the Steam special membership package items like the Mechanical Frog as well. The monthly rewards include those thousand oddments and these umbra chests, if I'm not mistaken, or protein packs. Anyways, every month you get something. The Vault is a monthly D&D or little mini game you can do near the Grand Exchange in Varrock that allows you to get a variety of items like Silverhawk Feathers or Silverhawk Down, protein packs, prismatic stars, some lamps, and it's just a nice little addition every month to give you a tiny boost in experience and skilling supplies. The strategy to doing this is doing as many bigger chests as you can and in the last three or five seconds you want to click on the chest in the middle. The reason for this is because when the timer ends you will still be able to finish picking that chest lock and you'll still get the rewards. This is why you do that chest last. For gold members wondering about the chat badge, you can simply activate it by clicking on the little settings wheel in your chat box. 
and turning the chat badge on. You will now have a blue star next to your name. And for the new players, no, these people are not Jagex moderators. They are simply people with a gold membership package. For those wondering what the oddments do, if you go to your currency pouch and you open up your oddments, oddments can be used to buy cosmetics, prismatic stars, and a bunch of other things. And usually when these are 75% off, the prismatic stars I'm talking about, or the lamps, you can get a bunch of experience by saving up your oddments till that point. The last thing worth mentioning is the premier pass or access to this premier pass. This is something for the premium rewards for any Yak Track event. Jagex is planning to release four of these Yak Track events every year now. So that means if you have bronze, you'll have access to the Premier Pass for the first one, silver for the first two, and with the gold one, you'll have the Premier Pass for all four Yak Track events. So if you are planning to get membership anyway, this is probably the best time to do it. I know there's people that don't like paying Jagex up front, and I understand that. But honestly, you cannot deny the value in getting Gold Premier Club this year if you're an active and consistent RuneScape player. You're getting more than last year. It's a discount on a already discounted membership package. So is it worth it? The gold one definitely is. The bronze one is if you want a discount on a shorter period of membership. And the silver one probably isn't worth getting. Now there's one more thing I'd like to mention before I end off the video and that is that Jagex gave a bunch of content creators from small to medium to large free gold premier club membership. I'm not even kidding. By the way, this isn't the reason I'm making this video before anyone starts typing away in the comments. I had planned to make this video anyways, like months down the line, so that's that. And to be honest, it's kind of nice to save some money on membership, and the fact that Jagex is supporting a bunch of content creators by giving them Gold Premier Club membership is really, really cool to see. And with that being said, that's the end of this video. Catch you guys in the next one.